Hi, my name is Daniel Ortiz. Today I'm going to be talking about how the Super Smash Bros. community has been affected by the coronavirus. Let's get to it. Alright, so what is the Super Smash Bros. community? Well, for short, we only just say the Smash community because using Super Smash Bros. community 50 times isn't really useful. So what is exactly is Super Smash Bros. if you haven't heard of it and living, been living under a rock? So, Super Smash Bros. is a game where all your favorite Nintendo characters battle it out, well, third party as well, battle it out, and some people have fun, some people like being competitive, and some people like being sore losers. So how has the, how has the whole pandemic kind of affected the Smash community? Well, there's a big uh, tournament called the Smash World Tour, which basically all, all the big tournaments that were going to be hosted for this entire year where it's going to be compiled in that one giant event. And that one giant event was $125,000 for each game, so Smash Bros. Uh, Melee and Ultimate. And basically, um, a lot of the big tournaments have been canceled due to that, like Pound 2020, which is like a big tournament that's around the springtime. So stuff like that's been kind of been affected. But the way that the, the tournament was going to play out, well, it still kind of is, um, you earn points based off of like what tournaments you go to. So like Pound 2020, that was a huge tournament. You would earn platinum points for that. That's a tournament that's half that size, you earn gold. Half of that size, silver, and then so on and so forth. So kind of bringing forward all the local communities as, as well. So how have, has the Smash community been responding to the whole pandemic itself? Well, they've been hosting a lot of online tournaments and also like, like people, like creators, like this guy named Alpha Rad, He's hosting a tournament that's supposed to be replacing Pound 2020 for huge prizes, prizes that not tournaments can't even afford. So I think it's pretty awesome. Uh, also in like the Arizona Smash community, people host a lot of uh, little battle arenas where you can fight it out and just practice and whatnot. So I think it's kind of bringing a lot of the community together virtually, but I think it's still pretty cool how they're still offering money, they're still trying to get people interested, and they're still trying to do things. But, that all takes place online. And you might ask, how does online play go? Well... And the only way out is... Quick play! Pretty rough. That's I would have to say that. Uh, considering, uh, matter of fact, is um, I get my best character all the way, almost to top rank, and I go all the way down because I play the same character, not the same person, but the same character. All I do is just bring it all the way down. But regardless, yeah, all I play is in the best. But um, I do think esports as a whole is responding pretty well, even though a lot of the you know tournaments have been canceled. A lot of things have been shut down by it. But I feel as though they're bringing the community together and trying to rebuild it and essentially kind of just have that feel to it and bring the community back stronger than ever. So. And where can I find a where can I find someone? Oh, hey, hey, get up, get up. Get up. Yeah. I need I need to do an interview with you. About, uh, do you play Smash Bros? Yeah, I do. Oh, okay. Well, well, well uh, can, can you tell me, uh, like, how, how's, the, how's the coronavirus affected you, like, with the whole Smash Bros community? Well, I, you say? I played a lot of Smash Bros before it, and now I have an excuse to play it even more, and I'm playing online every day. Oh, how, how's online play for you? Oh, man. It's rough. Uh, this is lagging, and there's so many people that don't want to play respectfully. And just want to throw a bunch of stuff at you so you can't hit them and just a bunch of lag and you don't get rewarded very well all right sounds good man okay god finally someone who i wanted to talk about like the philosopher was bowling well basically was talking about um like out of the couch no out of the kitchen into the couch and it was kind of like uh was saying reality versus tv and how things aren't really what they seem so I guess one thing that's really out there is the fact that there's a 13-year-old prodigy that's destroying professionals, so I think that's pretty cool. So yeah. 